by Silo Wong. You, in your photographs of boats, that repeated metaphor for departure, or simply the possibility of a voyage. What you cannot tell me, you tell me, was a vessel and its single passenger, eyes fixed on some scarlet conclusion, set apart and starkly upon a canvas of tractable waves, brought to still by the trigger click of your camera, like the sound a key makes when it releases the lock. Your heart became that lock. These images are how you have always articulated distance, a withdrawal. Darling, there are just as many ways of saying goodbye as there are ways of letting you go. The boat is narrow, like the width of my heart after impossible loss, cruel resignation. This heart you ride in. Love, if this is how you choose to leave me, let me let you.
this is a place where I don't feel alone. This is a place where I feel at home. This
know you like it. Is there anything you you wanted the last time you went out together? Looks good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what your husband is for if he doesn't buy you the things you want. I bet he's giving you a lot of painting this year. How's Max, by the way? We haven't seen him for a very long time. He's fine. Macy, you know me long enough to know when something's wrong. What's up? Tell us everything. He's been coming home late every day. And when he's home, he refuses to tell me anything. And then we quarrel. I just don't know who he is anymore. When I think everything's going to be alright, something happens. Every fight again. Oh. Why is he like this? I just, oh. Why? Well, I said it to you when you married that block of wood. I'll say it again, Macy. You have really weird tasting men. Maybe he's just tired, Macy. Matt is not the type to express his affection with grand confessions, but sweet gestures, like how he always takes a picture for you on your birthday. Yes, I guess. And the fact that he finds time off his busy schedule to paint them shows how much he cares, right? Of course. People should sure love differently. It's not weird, Iris. Just that it's quite the acquired taste. Right, Macy? <laughs> Iris, what are you driving at? I'm not driving at anything. It's just that. <coughs> you know, he's coming home later. He's not talking to you anymore. You just don't matter that much to me anymore. Iris! I'm just telling Macy to be on guard. Don't listen to her, Macy. You know Max, we know Max. And I know that he'll never do anything to hurt you like that. Why don't you just try talking to him? Reconnecting. It will work. I promise you. Will it? Yeah. I guess we just need some time. And then we'll be alright again. My dear woman, I have never heard of the phrase Hope deferred, make it the heart. <laughs> <laughs> My point, Macy, before I was so rudely interrupted, was that <coughs> we should start questioning him. Why don't you just try calling him to see if anything's wrong? Finally, you're making sense. Call him right now. <coughs>
morning, Ma. Morning, dear.
waiting for is she's going to be in for such a surprise. <laughs> the real surprise is when the person you're waiting for sees you without your makeup on. <laughs> At least I look presentable. Well, I'll have you know that I, I, I have the biggest eyes. My eyes are here. <laughs>
Ta. Ta. What do you want? Let's play a game. <laughs> Don't be silly. I need to get back to work soon. Ta. Listen, this game is really fun. I just need a bit of your time. It's called I Spy. Do you see anything different about this room right now? No. Ah, you're not playing it properly. <laughs> Look over there. You mean the frame? Yeah, yeah. The paintings. Do you see anything different? Is it? Uh-huh. Did your ma arrange my paintings? Please, can you just put it back? I need to get to work now. How you choose to leave me. Let me let you.